So hello guys and welcome back to some more Need for Speed. Today we're breaking down the new trailer which got released just a second ago. And my god, there's so much stuff in this in this trailer. So, so much. So we've got performance stuff, we have wraps and decals. Also we've got tuning and uh, yeah, just a whole lot of stuff in this trailer to talk about. So let's get started. So this trailer is done very like GTA sort of style where this female voice pops up and talks about all the stuff to do with customization and tuning that sort of stuff. And this is the first thing that pops out that's sort of brand new. Um, I've covered all like, the previous like car announcements and stuff, so we can focus on like the new stuff. And first up, we have the BMW M3, and look at their decals. I love the hood on this, I love the little side skirts, the wheels aren't too big as well. Then we move on to this Golf, which got announced uh, yesterday, I believe. Look at that front splitter. My god, it's massive. It's so massive. I love this little simple design as well. And the way it just all comes out, like for the fenders, the side skirts are just massive. So this will be the garage you have in the game. And there's the BMW again. Oh, it looks so juicy. And look, one million dollars. One million dollars to spend. I want that money in the game. Now we switch between the GT4 Porsche. Looking very, very sleek. I love that spoiler as well. And the rims, the black rims and the white. Oh, on point. But what is that symbol? Uh, like R2? And there's like an R1 for the full Mustang. What does that mean? Is that like the number of cars you have in your garage? I know the max is five. But yeah, what does, what does that mean? So I couldn't actually work out what this car is. I believe it's a Nissan 180SX or Silver or something like that. But anyway, enough of that. Let's talk about what's going on. So basically, one press of a button, you can customize the car in seconds to make it unique and interesting. So anyone that's like a little bit lazy and doesn't want to do their own wraps and that sort of stuff, you can just click a button and it's done in seconds, which is pretty sweet. And then we get to see the wrap editor in action. And here it is. You can rotate it. You can move stuff around. You can do layers, you can change the color, get more decals onto it. It looks pretty easy, but I'm guessing it'll be quite difficult to get a handle of at first, but I'm probably gonna spend hours and hours just customizing my car to make it look absolutely amazing. Also, I believe this is the Mazda MX-5, the new one, and it looks very juicy. And then we get to see body kits. Also, the money's dropped by a lot. <laughs> and also, that's changed to R6. What does that mean? I don't know. Uh, right, so this is a Rocket, Rocket Bunny kit. You just add it on and it makes the car look so different. Also, we get a carbon hood. Not big fan of carbon hoods, but they're in the game. That's a GTR as well in the nice... What, what sort of red would you call that? A very... I don't know, just a nice red. And obviously, we get the Porsche RWB kit. Oh my god. That looks so good. Look how low that's running. So good. It's just cool to see it in the garage. And just the way you can look around and actually how the menus look as well. I can't wait for this game. And then we move on to the old MX-5, and here it is, the 1966 model being just assaulted with mods. Like side skirts. Oh, they look so good. Some spoilers, some fenders. Oh, they look so good. Wing mirrors as well. Like, something basic is like a wing mirror. Can we change, can we change in the game? And then we move on to the tyres, but not just the tyres. You can also change the rims as well. So the rims and tyres are separate entities. Yes, you do see that correctly. It says sound system on the back. What? How does that, f that is crazy. You can also change the trunk lid, which is basically a boot if you live in the UK. Um, it's, just, it's just crazy, this game. The amount of customization is just incredible. Towel lights. And then we move back to that Mazda MX-5, the new one. And my God, look at what they've done to it. That is, I love the, the, those little yellow calipers, the wheels, the massive rims. Uh, it's just, that looks so nice. I probably would take the soft top off and add like a proper like hard top but it looks, oh, it looks so good. And then we move on to the color customization, and this is a Dodge Viper. Oh my God, look at the color changes. Oh, the green, like a chromey sort of red color, a black, and then got like a matte sort of satin almost. Is uh, try and pull some of these screens. So this is like all the decals you can put in the car. So you've got character designs. Also you have logo types, the different logos on the car. Uh, colorful logo types, so this is like black and white. You got complex shapes. I'm gonna try and slow this down as much as I can because it does go through them quite, quite, quite quickly. Uh, complex shapes, and you see it's all been added to the vehicle again. I seem to be focused on this uh, this Mazda MX-5 a lot, but it's just interesting to see how they've sort of laying up all the images and how it works, how to expand it, and just how how amazing these cars look. And now we move on to performance parts. Yes, I'm so excited. So. As you can tell, pretty much this whole car is uh, stock at the moment. So you've got the air filters, the sway bars, the cooling system, all stock. But slowly, we're going to be adding some more to it. Hell yes. So let's go further along in the video. 
So now it's time to change the engine block. So what we're going to do to it is just improve it a little bit. So the Elite Tuning Ported Block V2 is about to be added. So it takes down the 060 a little bit, not too much, but just a, a small amount. You probably notice it a little bit. Uh, the horsepower is by plus 15. The torque is plus 11. The top speed is plus 3. Just by changing one element of the engine. Also, if you pause it here, you can see the stock tires have been installed, the stock brakes, the stock handbrake. It's just like literally every element you can customize. It's crazy. Let's go further along. Got the sway bar again, the camshaft, the clutch, the exhaust, the NOS system as well. So we've got differential there as well. And we go along a little bit further. Ignition, the ECU. Again, the engine block is there as well, which we've already installed to a V4. Oh, now we're just going to casually gonna install NOS. I mean, I mean, what is, what is going on? Look, so that cost 4,750 credits. Uh, is it credits or dollars? I don't know. But the NOS is about to be installed. Boom, it's in. And then we go to uh, the intake manifold as well, which is still stock, but you can just see it there. And um, that's that's a lot of parts you can change in a vehicle. It's whew. So here it is, the tuning in the game. So you can decide to go towards drifting or towards grip. Obviously, grip's meant for racing. Drift is obviously meant for drift. I mean, it makes sense. So basically, it's like a sort of default uh, number. So like the tire pressures will go down. The steering range and that sort of thing will go down based on what you decide to pick. So your drift stability assist on. So I'm guessing that's if you don't want to drift, I guess. Or launch control for a good start. Differential, which will be added if you add it into the car itself in terms of like a mod, performance mod. Got downfalls. So you can add more downfalls for better cornering. Uh, also less speed or less downfalls for less grip, but more speed. And then we see a few examples of like a race. So this is horses for courses, which is quite a, a catchy little line. Race to the finish line, which is a typical race. And we've got talk of the town, which is reach the finish line within three minutes. And we've got transfusion, which again, is just like a normal race. And then we get the full focus RS in first place around a circuit, only doing one lap, going like 84 miles an hour, roughly 85. It's in first place, of course. And we move on to the golf. Hoo -hoo! Comes towards the end of the race, it's two laps and the track is around two minutes long. And that golf looks sweet. And we come back to the old MX-5, uh, the old one, of course. And yeah, it just zooms off. And that's the end of, pretty much the end of the trailer. How exciting was that? There was so much content in there to look at. So exciting. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If I missed anything, leave a comment below. I'll try and feature it in like a future video or something. But thank you for watching. And um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.